Good evening. A very warm welcome to all of you from us, Capital Smart City. We'll starting from uh, today's uh, participants. Uh, I would like to invite Mr. Noman Sefi for Tilawate Kulam Park. Mr. Noman Sefi. Mr. Vasi Chaudhary and Ms. Sidra Iqbal to come on stage. A big round of applause for them. Assalamu alaikum. A very good evening to all our distinguished guests. And the baki jinn loo ko urdu samajh aari hai, unke liye assalamu alaikum. Kya hal hai aap loong ke? Haan pe jitne loog maujood hain, unko hum ye batate chale ki ye South Asia ki pehli smart city hai. Yane agar hum dekhte hain, इस खिते में जिसमें इंडिया, बांग्लादेश, श्रीलंका सबका शुमार किया जाता है, ये पहली स्मार्ट सिटी है। दुनिया की कई मुमाले, कई जो टॉप लीडिंग सिटीज़ हैं, वो इस तरफ इस तरह ज़िंदगी पे जाना चाहते हैं, लेकिन अभी भी वो इससे माइलस्टोन्स दूर हैं। So we feel we are literally catching up, and this is a leapfrog towards you know the future of the world. लेकिन इसके बारे में मज़ेद बताने के लिए, और of course हमारे तमाम तर मेहमानों को बाकायदा खुशामदीद कहने के लिए, अब मैं यहाँ पे दावत देना चाहूँगी, the group chief operating officer, जनाब मोहम्मद असलम मलिक साहब को। I welcome you all being with us. And are thankful to you all for your kind presence and gracing our launch ceremony. I pay my special thanks to our international consultants. All, they came all the way from Singapore, Italy, UK, and America to grace our occasion, especially for Mr. Lim Sim and Mr. Andre of Surbana Joring, our master, master planner. Mr. Peter Haradin, he is not present, but he has sent a speech to be displayed here for you. Ms. Rawan Husseini, she came from Dubai. She is chief urban planner and the great horticulturist from Cracknell, Dubai. Mr. Marco and Mr. Loka, from ESA Italy. They are responsible for water treatment, for sewage treatment, and solar waste management. These people will come here and they will tell you about their contribution in the Capital Smart City. We have been talking so much about the Capital Smart City, but a journey of a thousand steps begins with the first step. So how about we, we bring to them the logo and the actual look and feel of Capital Smart City. Sure. Let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. The Capital Smart City comes to Islamabad. जब हम बात करते हैं रियल एस्टेट की, इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट की, तो हबीब रफीक प्राइवेट लिमिटेड डेफिनेटली इस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रीमियर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस दैट वी हैव। लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन, द हबीब रफीक प्राइवेट लिमिटेड
You talk the talk, you want the success, you have every dream. The standard you set, the business you need, now it's all in your access. Nothing more, nothing less, it's all in your access. It's all in your access. Habib Rafiq Private Limited is a symbol of commitment distinction and professional excellence. HRL has rapidly gained an unmatched reputation in civil, mechanical and electrical engineering by consistently completing mega projects ahead of their schedule. It is in 2017 when Future Development Holding expanded the project area to 5,000 acres and Smart Properties as an affiliated company to Future Development Holding set up the architectural design studio to develop, as I briefed you before, new destinations at capital C smart city, like the Capitol Hills, the terraces, Labour Terrace, Aviation District, the different districts that now you, most of you are you familiar with. Please, next. It is in 2018 when uh, we made progress with the design of Capitol Hills, that is a, a community a gated community with uh, 3,000 villas, development, 900 apartments, clubhouse, and uh, general amenities. Can you go next? And it is now in 2019 when we made progress in, in all of these areas. Please go next. Capital Smart City, well described to all, uh, to all of you. Uh, our prime location, as Mr. Aslan Brave, this is our uh, main principal is location. Our second principle is location, and our third principle is location. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to express my thanks to uh, Mr. Aslam for his kind words for Singapore as well as for uh, Sabana Jurong. Uh, basically, in Sabana Jurong, we came to Pakistan um, willing to share with all of you uh, our experience on city planning and building itself. Uh, we came here uh, to partner with you to share with you, to partner with you, as well as to work with you um, what we know and to create something that's uh, different in, in Pakistan. We do not want to bring Singapore uh, to Pakistan. We want to create a Pakistan uh, that is better than Singapore itself. And we believe after looking at the site today, we believe you can do it. There's a lot of hard work to do, but you can do it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to Mr. Luis, Mr. Lim Sian, and of course, Mr. Andre. CNBC Singapore has prepared a smart cities ke se ek report. Ki. Let's take a look and understand what exactly is a smart city. Just how smart is your city? Chances are it's getting smarter by the year. Many governments around the globe are racing to infuse technology into just about every aspect of its city's operations. And I mean every part. Including public transportation, IT connectivity, water, power supply, sanitation, solid waste management, urban mobility, e-governance, citizen participation. And it does this using every buzzword imaginable, from big data to the Internet of Things. So how does the smart city work? Let's look at three examples. Here in Singapore, the city-state might be the gold standard of the most extensive effort to collect data on daily living. The government is now deploying systems that can tell when people are smoking in prohibited zones or littering in high-rise housing. Singapore launched its own Smart Nation program in 2014 and will add more cameras like these so the government can effectively monitor crowd density cleanliness of public spaces, and even the exact movement of every locally registered vehicle. Much of the data that's collecting will be fed into an online platform called Virtual Singapore that gives the government access to know how the city is functioning in real time, so the government can predict how crowds might react to an explosion in a shopping mall or how infection or disease might spread. Khawatino Hazrat, who is technology ka zikr ho hai. Let's find out how these smart technologies are going to come to Pakistan. So for this, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Mohammad Shehzad, the CEO of Smart City Technologies, to please come and apprise us about the technology that Capital Smart City will be using. Assalamu alaikum. 
uh, before I begin my presentation, uh, everybody is thinking about what is Capital City Smart City is all about. We need to talk about the smart solutions and how we can integrate these solutions. It is basically an ecosystem that has to be developed. And development in Pakistan, obviously people think it's out of the question, but right now we're going to make it possible. So this is our roadmap. Finally, the moment is here, how we're going to provision the city. We have put up a small video. We're going to show you how these services are going to be linked and integrate and develop a smart city. Please play the video. Difference between traditional and smart city? Traditional cities have many systems like transport, energy, water and they all depend on one another. We need to connect all together to work more efficiently, and optimize usage through data and use machine learning and artificial intelligence. Every year we waste 300 billion euros on energy, 200 billion on food and 503 trillion worth of water, to create the food that we had wasted. 8 million people die because of air pollution. If we think about the money, and natural resources we are wasting, smart cities are the only solution, by connecting all systems to optimize supply and demand like God Almighty has created the universe. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, this particular project is basically a world-class scheme coming together and making it a reality. Another very important partner to this entire scenario is of course the Cracknell US. And for this, I would like to call upon a senior associate from Cracknell USA, Mr. Wan Husseini. Please put your hands together. Hi, everybody. It's a pleasure for me to be here today. Um, and we've been working yes. along with uh, the HRL team for almost a year now, and it's been a real pleasure to be here and to present to you. Welcome, uh, Rawan, again to Islamabad. It is one of your several visits. What is your impression today about your, your site visit? Because day by day, you, you are providing key elements the, uh, driving the master plan for Capitol Hills. Uh, please, can you uh, brief us your uh, impression today? Well, it's been quite fascinating to see the project evolve and develop over the last year. And today, we went on site, and it's amazing to see uh, the earthworks and the, the infrastructure going in. Um, and it's nice to just see the, the progress and the amount of progress that's happened within the last six months even. Quite astonishing. So we'll start with the video first and then I'll, yes. I'll go through the master plan with everyone. Cattle have been working as landscape architects, shaping outdoor and natural environments for over 30 years. We're now expanding and we thought this would be a good time to look at what we do and how we do it so we don't lose sight of who we are. Landscape architecture is about creating community and culture just as much as creating spaces. It can improve people's lives and health just without them even knowing. You affect how people live in the world, how they play, how they recreate. Does it inspire them? Does it make them happy? Does it bring them joy? I mean, those are the goals, aren't they, in the end? Not only to meet functional requirements of any given space, but to, to allow people to delight in them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on and invite our project managers from ESA. Both of them is, are going to expand and elaborate for us what the project was all about, what were some of the opportunities and challenges foreseen, and right now, how do they see it moving forward? So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Marco and Mr. Luca. First of all, good evening to everybody, and I... I want to thank you, Mr. Malik Aslam, Mr. Luis Fernandez, and Mr. Shabir Chaudhry for uh, uh, this company. We are very proud to be here in this big event for this huge project in the capital city of Islamabad. We visited the site today, and uh, we saw a very important and very big development for this smart city and I never seen uh, up to date a project like this. So our company is an Italian company from HISA and in Italian language is uh, Ecologia Soluzione Ambiente. 
we are involved uh, in two principal sectors, waste management uh, solutions, smart solution, and uh, waste and water uh, treatment and waste solution. Um, I we are very proud to be here because uh, we think that uh, we can uh, make big work uh, with, uh, in this project because uh, our company is involved in this sector for about 40 years and with the big experience we are uh, working in all the world in, the, in this sector because uh, we think that uh, it's very good to develop the project for smart city but we have to consider that the smart city it means smart waste and smart water because the uh, water is a big resource water and uh, waste are the big resources for the world and uh, we cannot permit to continue in, in, this, uh, in this way to this uh, way of pollution and uh, we have to solve initially this uh, problem and uh, I think that uh, our company can collaborate with the uh, smart city project in a very good way. Thank you so much for uh, your uh, participation and have a good evening to everybody. Grazie. Thank you, grazie. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Chief Marketing Officer or FDHL, Mr. Abdul Sami. Keeping in view the housing needs of Pakistan, we are glad to launch our contemporary Mediterranean and Georgian style villas in Capital Smart City. Uh, my friend Mujib will further elaborate on this in his speech. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, and now this kind of brings us to the uh, closing of our show. We'll be inviting upon our last speaker, and he's someone who is definitely going to shed more light and will leave you on the right high note. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming the Deputy General Manager, Mr. Mujib Ahmed Khan. Which is our first possession, uh, Executive Overseas Block, uh, it will be on our first quarter of 2020. Along with, the, uh, along with the other products, we have, uh, you know, the residential plot, which starts from 5 marla up to 40 marla, and commercial plot, which starts from 4 marla to 8 marla. We have just launched our smart villas also. You will have uh, the details on, in your goodie bags. Or, my uh, management say this discussion, bhi hui, or they were, you know, Buddy for Akhdili, they have given us this option that if anyone who has already bought the plot and they wanted to adjust the payment in Villa, we can do that within the 1st of October. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, this formal launch ceremony comes to a close. It was a pleasure for me and Vase to be your host tonight, and definitely it is a it is a beginning of a new era for the city of Islamabad. And ladies and gentlemen, our dinner has been served. So please, thank you so much. And Shabakhair.